Hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, we are going to solve a typical circuit analysis problem. So we are given here a, um, a, a circuit uh, with voltage sources and resistors, just a typical uh, circuit. And we are asked to find a voltage uh, across this 6 ohm resistor right here as V0. And so what I want to do though, I want to use two methods in parallel, KCL and KVL. So you can kind of see side by side, you know, the difference between the two and how to approach a problem next time when you're given a problem. Um, so here, um, we're going to solve using KCL on the left here and KVL um, on the right here. So you can kind of see the differences between the two in general. So KCL is a current law. So what does that say? The law says that current entering a node equals to the current um, leaving the node. So if you consider this node right here, um, and then we have, let's say, let's call this one I1, the current entering, I2, and then I3, then I have I1 plus I2 equals to I3 and I could have done this like I could have had this entering this node I could have considered that um, and then I2 leaving the node and the equation will change but you're still gonna end up with the same result so it doesn't really matter how to choose your you know which one leaves which ones um, enter the node it doesn't really matter um, as long as you follow the rule of entering equals leaving so I1 what's I1 so I1 is a current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor so I'm going to consider the voltage difference here the potential difference between the voltage drop across the 3 ohm resistor here and so that would be 36 minus V0 right because it's the, the potential difference across the 3 ohm resistor so it is, it's this voltage right here over the 3 ohm resistor itself over three, right? So same thing for I2, potential difference, voltage drop across the six ohm resistor over this, the resistance because you know you have V equals IR. So V equals IR, that's what we're using here, right? So of course, um, I is equal to V over R and then V in this case is the potential difference. So I2 is six minus V zero um, over 6 ohms and then I3 is the potential difference between V0 here and ground so that's only V0 because it's V0 minus 0 over the register which is 6 ohm now from here on you're just solving a math equation with one var unknown variable so um, I can pretty much, uh, sim I mean, I can simplify, I can do it uh, in different ways here, but let's let's just, whatever, simplify here. So that'll be 72 minus two volt, I mean two V zero, plus six minus V zero equals V zero over six. Now, of course, the six will cancel out. Will cancel out. So then I have. Um, uh, then I have. Uh, Seventy-two plus six. That's seventy-eight. Minus. I mean, that's equal to. V0 here plus V0 plus 2V0, so that's 4V0. And the uh, final result V0 here is 78 over 4. And that's equal to, let's take our calculator here, divide by 4, and that's 19 over 5 volt. 
All right, so that's KCL, right? So not too bad, straightforward. Current entering equals current uh, leaving the node, and then you just solve your equation. So in an exam setting, this probably would take me um, without, you know, the explanation and anything like that. It would take me like two, three minutes, you know, depending, um, you know, so that's that's that for, for KCL. Now let's solve the same question using KVL. All right, let's choose a different color here. And um, let's take out, um, let's erase this. And uh, use KVL. So what is KVL? So uh, KVL you have to consider um, not a node, but you have to consider each um, section here. So let's say you know the current flowing here is called I1. Uh, uh, let's use current flowing here is let's call that I2. Um, uh, so let's put our signs plus minus plus minus and then um, we'll start with this uh, section over here and solve for solve for our uh, for a V so V equals IR so uh, for voltage law you got to go through the loop right so you got to consider we have two loops here we'll do this one loop first and then uh, we'll do uh, this loop then afterwards so for this loop uh, v equals ir so we already have a v here so let's say this is minus so you 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 follow the um, sign convention so if you have a voltage rise then that's positive if you have a voltage drop it's a negative so your current is flowing from minus to plus so then it's a rise so i have um 36 volt you know positive voltage drop here um that's i1 times 3 so that's minus 3 i1 because the uh, kvl says that you know sum of all the voltage is equal to zero in that loop so we keep going right current will flow flow here voltage drop you know minus 3 i1 and then voltage drop here but if you notice here this register right here shares two currents right we have a, a current i1 and we have a current i2 so you can't just say that this is 6 i1 right because you have also current coming in here so we'll we'll, we'll use plus six it's still um we're still using um we're still in loop one right but we have plus six i1 goes from plus to minus so it's a voltage drop right so i'll use minus i1 and then the opposite is for um i2 so plus i2 so i'm done with that loop equals to zero i'm done with all the voltages across that loop and that's equal to zero so let's let me put one here just to say you know loop one um, loop two, same thing, right? We can start here and follow the current um, path. Again, you could have used a different path and just kind of, you know, do uh, counterclockwise if you want to. Again, you just need to follow the sign. So it doesn't really matter what, if you use counterclockwise or clockwise, it doesn't matter really. But here I'm choosing to use, you know, clockwise. So clockwise, current flowing through here, you know, all the voltages across this loop right here. So voltage drop because I'm going from plus to minus. So I have minus six. Um, then uh, again, with this resistor right here, you have two. Uh, you have two uh, current. So um, if I choose plus to minus, and then plus to minus here as well, then um, I am 
going down here. So let's say it's going to be 6. My f current I2 is flowing from uh, positive to negative. So there's a drop. So I have minus I2. And uh, I1 is... is um, is, is um, positive because you're going from minus to positive. You're considering I1 but in this loop right here. So that's I1. Right, and you keep going plus to minus to voltage drop. So it's minus 6. Current, current flowing is, is I2 because I'm in the second loop. So minus 6 I2, that's equal to 0. And again, from here, it's just math. Um, just simplify and, and just solve. And then I have um, 36 uh, minus 9 I1 minus 9 I1 plus 6 I2 equal to 0. And then here I have minus 6. I have minus 6i2, minus 6i2, minus 12i2. Let me put the i2 here. 12i2, uh, minus 12i2. And then I have uh, plus 6i1. I just kind of want to put everything in order so that it's easier to, to solve and simplify. Okay. All right. So again, from here, it's just solving for equation for two equations with two unknowns. I1 and I2, um, right off the bat, you can just multiply here the first equation by 2 and then cancel out. Just simple math. So if I multiply the first equation by 2 across the board, I could have simplified, you know, take out um, take out um, 3 here and, you know, whatever. But I'm in an exam and I want to quickly solve this. So 2 times 36, that's 72. Uh, minus 18 I1 um, so if you, well yeah, let's just cancel it right away because if you um, so this will cancel out of course if you add add them together but um yeah let, let, that's fine I'll just put it I'll just write it down equal to zero I'm not gonna skip any step here <laughs> all right so minus six plus 6i uh, minus 12i2 so if I add the two equations together then these will these two will cancel out and I have 72 um, 72 minus 6 that's uh, 66 um, Plus, I mean, minus 12 I1 equal to 0. So, therefore, I1 is equal. So, right off the bat, you can kind of tell that, you know, KVL in this case, in this particular case, because the question here is for V0. So, in this case, KVL seems to be a lot longer because I have to solve for I1 and I go back and plug in, etc. So, I1 is equal to 66 divided by 12, and that gives me 5.5 uh, amps. So, um, I can use either equation to solve for I2. Um, you know, whatever. Uh, let's use... Let's use... Um, Let's use this one right here. So then I2 is just plug in here uh, 5.5. So I have minus 6 plus 5.5 uh, times 6. That equals to 27. So 27 over 12. That gives me 225 amps. Okay, so then um, um, then my uh, 
v0 now uh, that I know the current flowing through this register right here which is i1 minus i2 uh, I can multiply that by 3 and that'll I mean by 6 which is the ohms here because remember uh, v equals ir so I have i uh, So V equals, V0 equals um, I1 minus I2 times 6, and that's times R, you know, which is 6, six ohms over here. So 5.5 minus 225, minus 225, 325 times 6, and that's 19. 0.5. So we end up with the same result uh, than KCL over here in parallel using um, uh, KCL. So we have ended up with the same result. So you tell me like which one. In this case though, uh, it's pretty clear that it's easier to do KCL, but not always. I mean, it depends on the question. I, the question could have asked for I2. Then of course, if I use KCL, it wouldn't. But so the tip here number one is if you're asked for voltage for the most part for the most part use KCL so use the opposite a lot of students what they do is they ask for voltage and they want to go for KVL KVL usually solve for current right and KCL solve for voltage so um, we ended up in the same with the same results here however we are asked for voltage so use KCL if you ask for voltage um, and use KVL if you ask for a current because we ended up with a current here and then we have to go back and plug in uh, to solve for V uh, here we just ended up straight with the voltage so that's really the, the tip number one is when you whenever you ask for voltage for the most part I'm saying not all the time but for the most part use KCL and if you're asked for voltage use I mean, if you ask for current, use KVL. If you ask for voltage, use KCL because you're solving for, for voltage when you use KCL and you're solving for current when you use KVL. Easy to remember. Let me know if you have any questions down below.